Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program 2 video. As you can see, we are almost all the way out to Joule. If you trace out the orbit that we're on now, we'll just end up a little bit between Drez and Joule, which isn't ideal. Um, but yeah, this is where we had to leave it, because there was a <laughs> game-breaking glitch that when separating this lower stage... Well, I'll just show you what happens. If we separate this lower stage, bam. As you can see, these separate, but they're still docked. So I found out how to fix the glitch is that we actually have to undock these. Engage a little bit of time work to get that solar panel one out of there. There we go. And now all we have to do is just, um, redock them. So that glitch we were uncovering before, literally, it's just because they weren't fully, fully docked. So yeah, that is still a bug they need to fix. But, um, yeah, we can actually do the mission now, which I thought I thought it was something that we weren't able to do before, so that's good. Anyways, let's go ahead and plot our mid-course maneuver. You know, that's twice as much as it would normally be, but I'll take it. We have the Delta V, as you can see. And plus, with this, we should hopefully be able to get a Tylo encounter that will capture us for free. Where will Tylo be when we get here? Nowhere to be found. Okay. No matter how hard I try, I can't seem to get it. Okay. We'll worry about it later, I suppose. Alrighty. See you later, Kerbin. Yeah. Boom! Burn! It is a little uneven of a payload, but luckily the swerve knows how to handle it. Now, let's see. Did that get us the encounter that we wanted? Yeah, it's not. It's gonna take way more LTV than it said. Okay. Yeah, that Apoops is not sh shooting up at all. What? I mean, we'll still get there, but... It's going to take about double the Delta V, which I wasn't really budgeting for. So hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, we just spent a thousand meters per second. Or, or maybe the Delta V readout was wrong. I mean, I always thought I would have to send a rescue ship. It's fine. Let's let's just get there. Whatever it takes, right? Zooming past Duna. That would have been one of the quickest trips to Duna. I should do that. Maybe, maybe that should be next time. Seeing how fast I can get to the celestial bodies. That could be kind of fun, especially since there's no atmospheric heating. We can just... Chuck ourselves straight into an atmosphere. That could be kind of fun. Let me know if that's something you guys want to see. Could be interesting. Alrighty, well, we're going to go ahead and play and see if we can spot Jupiter before we enter the sphere of influence. So, sun's right there. Looking to the left. I see something right there. That looks like a Jupiter. Or a jewel. Yeah, right there. Or there. Well, we'll see if that's right. All right, now I'll go ahead and plot a course to see if we can't encounter Tylo. Ooh. The jewel theme. Yeah, very spooky. Yeah, I can't get a single... What about Laith? Laith, are you available? You know what? Jewel's atmosphere might be the only thing available for us right now. There's no heating yet, so we can just aero break. That does seem like the best plan of action, actually. Two kilometers? Is that too low? Two kilometers could be too low. Or at 2,000 kilometers. I want to think Jules' atmosphere starts at 200. And it's very thick, very soupy. So 150. Let's try that. Let's find out if the duct tape holds. Oh, there it is. I found Jewel. Hi, Jewel. We're about to be coming in real spicy. Oh, look, there's Val, Lathe, Tylo. So serene. I feel like there should be more, like, dust and stuff around here, you know? Feels a little too clean. I feel like there should be some space dust orbiting around. But, uh, what do I know? So pretty. Oh, look, there's a spot. The great green spot. I'm just wondering when we when we hit the atmosphere. When is the atmosphere? I don't know. It's sometime soon. We're going prograde because that's aerodynamic. Because this thing is totally aerodynamic. I mean, the plane is. Everything else, though, is not really. Alrighty, and Mark. We just hit the frame drops. Ooh, but look at this, though. Got the clouds on Jewel. Oh, yeah. So that's something that the Volumetric Clouds mod does add for KSB-1. But I haven't been to, you know, Jewel or I guess in a Realism Overhaul, it would be Jupiter that would have this. So, and I guess all the other gas giants as well, right? Saturn, uh, Uranus, Neptune, all those in Realism. But yeah, it's, um, it doesn't like it, I don't think. Oh, yep. Yeah, and um, what did you say about your Apoapsis and Periapsis? Um... It's gone. 
We definitely went way too low. <laughs> Say goodbye to your apoapsis. We are we are landing, I guess, on Jewel. Um, yeah, no, that's that's not ideal. Okay. Um, luckily I made a save, so we can load that. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, spinning. That's a good trick. Wait, did something fall down there? Oh. <laughs> uh, see you later, plane. <laughs> just yeeted the plane off. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, it's just yeeting stuff into space. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a good one. I like that one. That was fun. Alrighty, this time we're testing our luck with 183. Alright, there we go. Got captured with a little bit of engine persuasion. There we go. It seems like we're gonna get Tylo. We can go to Tylo. Hello, hello Tylo. We got me to say hi. See, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and warp to that sphere of influence and then capture. Yeah, maybe I could have been more efficient with this now that I'm thinking about it. Although, actually, if we drop the plane off now, that'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, it'll get an, uh, an assist by Tylo. And then we can adjust its orbit, arrow break at Lathe. Although, we'll have differential thrust to deal with. That'll be a problem. Yeah, so you kind of have to drop the Tylo lander and the ship. Actually, yeah, we can do that. Hold on. I have an idea. We can use the Paul Bop landers as little, um, shuttles. Because they have ion propulsion, so they have a lot of Delta V. And they can just be, like, little shuttle craft. So what we can do... Go ahead and thrust away. Now we can go ahead and extend our perma panels. And now we undock the Tylo lander. And we're going to capture around Tylo using this. And there we go. And then the plane, piloted by yours truly. Off that goes. All right, so there goes the plane, there goes that. And then, yeah, I think we'll just leave this in the very high orbit because um, we'll, we'll encounter Paul. So that seems good. I like that plan. The ship has been split up. Everybody else is going to get flung into this super highly elliptical orbit. Uh, Valentina's going to Tylo. Jebediah's going to Leif. And then Bob is going to Paul. So yeah, they're all going to their own little places. Alrighty, but yeah, first off is Tylo, of course. So let's go ahead and get in there. Dump. There we go. All the vessels have entered SOI. Min, 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 Minu, minu, no! Retrograde. How long is this gonna take? Forty-six seconds. I somehow doubt that. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see about that. I might go ahead and start the burn sooner than I think I need to. I don't know. Something about just the the, the ion. I don't think it's gonna slow me down that fast, but we'll see. Maybe I underestimate this tiny little pusher. Although, wait, we're entering on the shadow, so that's gonna be a problem because we're gonna lose daylight. So I'm going to go ahead and start burning now. Alrighty, so we can't quite run at full. How much can we run at? Okay, turn towards the sun. Turn towards the sun. Okay, our orbit is changing. I'm unsure of what's really going on. I don't think this is really working, Chief. I mean, it's trying. Poor little thing is trying. Okay, what? How are we on a jewel collision course? Okay, it's got to be something with that orbital decay bug. We're on, a, we're on a jewel collision course now. Like, straight down. That's interesting. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and maybe set the thrust limiter of this to, like, 5%. Yeah, 5%. It should be able to regulate its own thing. Or maybe not. Maybe it's got to be 4. Okay, 4. 4 and holding. That's good. Um, 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 excuse me, what? We're in Tylo now. We're negative 599 under Tylo. And the G-forces are 15 plus. Okay. Ah, yes. Leaving the solar system at a significant percentage of the speed of light. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's try this again. I think this time I'm just gonna avoid time warp. And we'll just, um, yeah. 
Let the ion engine do the work. Three hours later. All right, man. This is taking forever. And it keeps on doing this partially out of fuel orbital event thing. Either way, as long as we can capture into an orbit, I'll be happy. But yeah, our speed is going up, oddly enough. But yeah, our orbital line looks like it's becoming more and more reasonable to how it should be. Maybe? Possibly? I don't really know. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, we're just leaving now. How does that work? How are we just leaving? Oh, it's because we're adjusting our trajectory around Tylo, I guess. Possibly. I don't feel like that's something that the orbit should be doing, but then again, we are coming in from well out here. Yeah, maybe we gotta be closer to Perigee for our orbit to actually make sense. Because it seems like we were running prograde then. I'm gonna aim prograde. Okay, and that's slowing down. Okay, that is weird. Yeah, we are burning prograde, yet our orbit is slowing down. And we captured. Okay. <laughs> and we're not running out of fuel, it's an ion engine. Sure, game. Because burning prograde is definitely the direction we want to be burning. <laughs> we're aiming prograde. <laughs> Alrighty, we're captured. <laughs> These guys are going to zoom on by. Noom, off they go. But anyways, welcome to Tylo. Here it is. We'll just go ahead and warp to our perigee and burn prograde. So there's our ion engine. So we'll go ahead and fire that up prograde. And yep, that's decreasing our apoapsis. Yep, because that's supposed to happen, I think. Don't let the electric charge freak out like that, because then it, um, it does that, yep. This feels like cheating. This feels like we have some sort of, like, crack and drive ion engine, but you know, it's fine. Oh, yep. Okay, and it glitched out again. Okay, we just need the electric charge to charge back up. Oh, gosh. Okay. And now we've lost our engine. <laughs> yep, so don't run out of electric charge or the, um, crack and drive breaks. Basically, that's what we've learned. So look, they go from being, like, nothing, and then just times two times warp. The ion engines are actually doing something. So... It's fine, whatever. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm not even upset. Like, this is clearly cheating, but, um, you know, it's KSP2. Yep, just, um, not yet. Fire up the ion engines prograde. Lower that orbit. Perfect little orbit. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick save, just in case we do not have the Delta V to do this, but we should. So yeah, let's go ahead and undock from here. Valentina's actually in here, so we need to go ahead and have you EVA. A little bit of a violent undocking sequence, but it should be fine. As long as we're good to go ahead and land on this thing, we should be okay. Alright, and hopefully the engines on this thing work as intended. Okay, looks like they are. And we have, okay, 3960. Hmm. Not confident about that. Really not that confident about that. Because, yeah, we need about 5,000-ish to actually land and return. So, like, we'll be able to land, but we're probably not going to be able to return. Let's do it. Okay, looks like, looks like the crossfeed is working. Okay, that's good. So, who knows? We might have more Delta V than the game says, because... Because, yeah, it says we have 3,000 in this stage, and then we're going to jettison our tanks, so... Yeah, I just don't think the game's kind of equating to kind of how we're staging this, but... We'll see how it goes. So, yeah, I think now would be a good time to go ahead and elaborate why landing on Tylo requires so much Delta V. Because, yeah, for those who don't know, it just looks like the Mun. Like, it shouldn't take that much Delta V. But, you gotta remember, Tylo is way bigger than the Mun. It's almost the size of Kerbin. But, um, yeah, we have no atmosphere, so we can't use the atmosphere to slow ourselves down. So, yeah, we're basically having to do a Kerbin launch in reverse, technically. On a Kerbin launch, you do have to fight the atmosphere on your way up, and there's no atmosphere to fight here, so that's the bonus. But, yeah, still, it's it's comparable. Yeah, go ahead and burn that fuel down. Yeah, it seems like these engines are quite efficient. So far, the descent is nominal. Okay, already we're getting ready for first stage separation. The first tanks are going now. All right, there they go. Okay, go ahead and pitch up a little bit to go ahead and not crash into the ground prematurely here. We're still going way too fast here for an appropriate landing. Okay, come on, gain some altitude. We need, we need to gain a little bit. All right, we're gaining. Okay, nope, we're crashing. Smack! Alrighty, we need to go ahead and start our landing run a little bit sooner than that, I think.
Nailed it. Nailed it. Wait, does it have enough SAS to upright itself? Oh yeah, it kind of does. Alrighty, well there we go. We have landed. Let's see, do we have enough, do we have enough SAS to upright ourselves? Up. Oh no, there we go. Up. Wow. Those are some, okay. I think it's mainly due to the fact that we're on a hill, not the fact that our SAS wheels are just able to overcome tie low gravity. Up, up, aim up. Up, there we go. There we go. Okay. Look at the lander. So majestic. Yeah, I think we probably don't have enough Delta V to really do anything, but we're going to go ahead and transfer everything into the main tank. Jettison the radial tanks. There we go. And with that, we have 1537, which, yeah, is not nearly enough to, to re-enter Tylo orbit. So, I'm sorry, Valentina, but you're going to have to um, stay here. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, rescue will be here soon-ish. And yeah, uh, enjoy your enjoy your time on Tylo. Alrighty. I mean, you know, at least your bones and muscles won't atrophy because, you know, we ha Tylo has normal, you know, 1G gravity. So that's good, right? But yeah, everything else about the situation is kind of not great. We don't really know if there's anything of interest nearby either. Kind of just in a little canyon. Okay, we landed on one of these uh, banded strips. Okay. But yeah, I really love the visual of Tylo. You know, it looks a lot like Ganymede. And yeah, you can see those, those big ridges over there on either side. So yeah, very cool place. But yeah, unfortunately, a place that Valentina will remain until we can rescue her. Because yeah, the main issue with the lander was that we didn't quite have enough thrust weight ratio. Hence why I had to keep these boosters attached all the way till the landing. The goal was to jettison these just like all the other boosters. But um, we actually had to hold on to them and I had to transfer fuel into them. Because otherwise we just didn't have enough thrust. Probably should have used the tuba or something bigger. But um, it's fine. We, we know for next time. And um, that's that I suppose. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for new videos. Have a great day. Get rest of your day. And yeah, next time, we might continue on with our jewel antics. As you can see, our two vessels are about to complete their first orbit. So yeah, we can go ahead and get an encounter with Laith. And then, um, yeah, go land on Laith. Or we can, uh, I don't know, just one else. Like go to Moho or something. It really depends. See you guys then. Goodbye for now.